sometimes we do like, hey, give us a, a question, you know, like, do you have a question for us? And then we'll talk about it on the mic. But what we're going to do going forward, comment on the video if you have a question for me or Ryan. And I'm going to pick one comment and I may mention it on the show. MCR11. This is his uh, question. Name a modern key. That seems way too cheap. Example. He gives two examples here. First, Riri, which I agree with, and Miles Morales. Specifically, Ultimate Fallout for the second print. I agree with both of those assessments. And for members who haven't noticed, we have some changes to the back wall. One of which you happen to be able to see because it's cropped, but it's still here. We have removed a comic book. I love me some hero trade. Bad idea, but there has been a replacement. We have a 9.8 CBCS. Invincible Iron Man number nine, the variant. First, Riri Williams. Hmm. First full appearance. It's a glorious comic book. I think there's some major potential with that book, and I've owned it for quite a bit. Actually, not even quite a bit. I got secured that in the last like eight months. All right, so I agree with that. And the second printing of Ultimate Fallout 4 is one that I've always thought was grossly undervalued because this is the issue where it's revealed who the next Spider-Man is. So on the cover A, they kept it hidden, and they put a shadow over Miles' face. But right. on the second print, you can see his face. For being the first full appearance of Miles Morales in a market where people value second printing so much, this is where you actually see Miles' face on the cover. And in a world where we have another layer of people are getting stuff graded and slapped and hanging stuff on walls, showing their friends. Yeah, that's Miles. Uh, they covered him up, but that's Miles. That's what you get with Ultimate Fallout 4. The second print, you get to see it in all its glory. So I, I agree with both of those statements. I'm going to add one more though, because MCR11 commented on the video and asked me. All right. So I'm going to give you something, a little bit of a tip here. That's how you know that I'm being honest because I purchased this book. I'm hunting for this book. I want more copies of this book. If you go on eBay, you may fight me to get some of these copies. I'm hunting for them, but I'm telling the community this. So I'm probably creating some competition, but I do it for the comic fam. That's what I do. The Indiana Jones of Star Wars. Oh, they're going to talk about an Indiana Jones key. It's like I'm, I'm hunting for him, man. I'm fighting you for those Indiana Jones keys. Hey, I'll tell you, you should be specking on Indiana there? Jones. Yeah, there's, <laughs> yeah. Indiana Reggie Jones Collects keys? actually called that spec like eight months ago because huh. there's Indiana Jones 5 coming. It was super delayed. Hmm. Keep an eye out for that in the dollar bin. But I'm looking for like modern keys that seem way too cheap that are bigger for the comic fam to consider. I'm talking about Dr. Afra, Darth Vader, issue three. Nine point eight of that book have hit five, six hundred bucks. All right. And the reason why they did was partially because of the COVID, the, the pandemic effect and the long delays of Disney Plus. But we know early on that they were looking for an Indiana Jones type of casting. And then nothing has happened since then. We've actually heard rumors of Sabine Wren, Ezra Ridger, like that kind of stuff has actually started to play out. But then we haven't heard anything about Dr. Afra yet. But now we're getting the Darth Vader tale, right? Like we're getting Darth Vader in his prime, you know, getting Christians and reprising his role. So that got me thinking, well, how have people given up on this book? Because it was hitting five or $600 highs at a 9.8 and now it's hitting $300. What? Almost half of what it was going for at its height. But we have no reason to stand back and go, oh, this is just not happening. So people have left the gas because it's too much time has passed. Great opportunities to secure a secure that yeah, secure a book that has great spec potential that could blow up because this character is a fan favorite. She's awesome. She's a lot of fun to read and a great lead for any series. And then Black Chrysanthemum gets introduced in Mandalorian season two. If we book see, did you show up in Boba Fett? Excuse me. Sex season three. Thank technically. you. Thank you for the correction. Showed up in season yeah technically season three. Basically, Mando book season of Boba. Three. So. We know that Black Chrysanthemum is coming back. He's now working with the team. And we are now gone back in time where we know that Obi-Wan and Black Chrysanthemum have been, like, you know, they crossed paths before. Are we not going to see Black Chrysanthemum in the Obi-Wan series? I hope we do. But I also hope that this is going to have some type of reveal this season, possibly, that introduces Dr. Aphra. But it doesn't happen here. It's probably going to happen somewhere else. Too many characters, comic fam. Too many characters for this for not to ride. happen. I'm enjoying it, it. All right. Oh, my goodness. We're talking about... I opened this and didn't even take it out yet. Well, what do you got? All right, last uh, thing. Last thing here. What do you, uh, We're doing an unboxing too. Oh, you got the shirt. I got a shirt. So basically, Ryan, is your entire wardrobe being replaced by things that have been created by James Tynan IV? Effectively. Look at, um, for I don't know those how well who, that's coming up on camera. Ryan is wearing his closet shirt proudly. 
And, and I what just is got that a shit? new one. What is that one? Uh, I don't remember. Substack, Jimmy T, James Tynan. Oh, Department of Truth. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's freaking sexy, Ryan. <laughs> this Look is gonna scare that. people. I don't know if I can wear that. Where I can wear this? That's kind of a weird thing because it looks like what is he gonna right? be? What is he gonna be eating? That's my question. Chili dogs. He's gonna be eating chili dogs. All right, That's there it. we go. That's a cool I'm shirt, ex- man. I'm excited to rock this. I'm gonna I wear like this that. tomorrow at the shop. All right, um, shout out Jimmy ooh. T because we're ooh, ooh Department of Truth on the back. Snazzy. Okay. All right, Kyle, I'm looking at a Department of Truth shirt that Ryan just got. Um, I'll tell you, man. Hell yeah. Substack has brought me in hard because I'm buying more merch from this damn dude than I ever have. Yeah, I just we just I can't uh, help it. I just bought another shirt. I yesterday. just bought another shirt too. I'm like, yeah. wait a minute. I think I need like Scott Snyder, Donnie Cates. They need to start producing more shirts, man, because I'm just gonna be looking like a James Tynan. Like, what's it, what's what's it today? Advertisement. It's James you know? Tynan shirt out of four. I got like four of them now at this point. I think that's uh, number number three or four. I want to get the blue book one too. There's a blue book shirt. I want that one. The book has hit twenty bucks. Let off the gas, Colin Fan, unless you're really got it for some Jack Kirby goodness. Seventy-five dollar cover price on this. Don't overbid. But if somebody wants it, we got it. 